Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful little romper for baby girls between three and six months old. It's super easy to make. I'd say that it's ideal for beginners, so I hope you like it. Now, the one we're going to make in the tutorial, like I said, it's for three to six months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months. Down here in the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now to make this little romper this is the yarn that I used it's DK weight yarn but you can use any number three yarn or a ply now if you're making this for the summertime I recommend that you use cotton yarn in the same weight I used a total of 95 grams 20 grams in white and about 75 grams in pink you will need less or more depending on the size that you're making so please keep that in mind okay let's get started but don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos and if you like this tutorial please hit that like button thanks so much for watching to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn you can also use number three yarn or a ply at the beginning of the video I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn we're going to need for the size that we're making which is for three to six months now to begin I have 53 chains this chain here without stretching or anything is measuring about 11 inches which is about 28 centimeters now if your chain is off by one or two centimeters it's okay just continue so here to begin with the first row into the second chain from the hook one two into this second chain here insert your hook and make a single crochet into the next chain make a single crochet single crochet into the next and so on for this first row this is all i'm going to do i'm going to make one single crochet on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 52 single crochets continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this first row I have a total of 52 single crochets now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn now these two chains from here on do not count they're just here so that when we finish the yoke this part here is nice and straight now to begin the second row I'm going to make three double crochets and then into the fourth single crochet I'm going to make two double crochets so let me show you beginning on top of the first single crochet make a double crochet that's one two three into the next make two double crochets one and two this is all you're going to do for the rest of this second row you're going to make three double crochets one two three and into the next two double crochets now continue like this to the end of this second row i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next i finished the second row here at the end i finished by making these last four double crochets at the end of this second row i have 64 double crochets now for the third row chain two and turn now in this row I'm going to make four double crochets then into the next I'm going to make two let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet that's one two three four now into the next make two double crochets and this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row you're going to make four double crochets and into the next two four two four two until you finish this third row continue i'll meet you at the end i finished the third row at the end of this third row i have 76 double crochets now for the fourth row chain two and turn now in this row i'm going to make five double crochets then two let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet that's one two three four five double crochets and into the next two 
and this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row you're going to make five double crochets then two five two five two until you finish this fourth row at the end of this fourth row you're going to have 88 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this row I finished the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, I have 88 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row. I'm going to make three double crochets, then two, three, two, three, two, until I finish the row. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, now into the next, make two double crochets. One more time, make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. So continue making three double crochets, then two, three, two, to the end of this fifth row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Up to here, I have 100 double crochets. I still have eight double crochets left. Now, here at the end, we're going to finish this row by making one double crochet on each one of these double crochets so that at the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now, I want to make sure that this last row here is in multiples of three. So 108 divides into three. There. So at the end of this fifth row, I have 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, what I'm going to do are V stitches. So our first V stitch is going to go into the third double crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, three, into this third double crochet, make a V stitch. So make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a V stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third, again, a V stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. We're just going to make these V stitches. Continue, finish this sixth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now here at the end, I'm going to skip these next two double crochets and on top of the last one here, make a double crochet. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop and this row here is done. I have a total of 35 V stitches at the end of this sixth row. Now, if you notice, I've changed yarn color. The yoke that you were watching was a little dress that I did, this one here. It's the Annie dress pattern. I'll go ahead and leave the link to this little dress down here in the information box. The yoke is done exactly in the same way. So now for the sixth row here at the end, I cut my yarn like I said, so we're going to turn insert your hook on top of the first double crochet and for the seventh row i'm going to change yarn color i'm going to use this white yarn here it's dk weight also so here bring this loop through and chain three now we have the first v stitch into this first double crochet of this v stitch make a front post double crochet inside the chain two space of this v stitch make a fan the fan is going to consist of two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. And now make a front post double crochet into the second double crochet of this V stitch. And this is how we're going to work each one of the V stitch. Again, we have the second V stitch, make a front post double crochet, make a fan inside the chain two space, and a front post double crochet. Now continue like this to the end of this seventh row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. 
I'm here at the end of the seventh row. I have a total of 35 fans. Now to finish, go into the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. Now for row eight, we're going to chain one and turn. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now chain three, inside the chain space of this first fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet chain three in the middle between the fans right here make a slip stitch again chain three into the chain space of the next fan a single crochet three chains single crochet chain three in the middle of the fans a slip stitch and this is how we're going to continue for the rest of this eighth row chain three into the chain space of the next fan, a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, three chains, in the middle of the fans, slip stitch. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I finished making this eighth row. Now here at the end, I did my last three chains and into the second chain here at the end, I made a single crochet. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and the yoke is done and this is how it looks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to separate the sleeves. We have a total of 35 of these fans. So for each one, of the front panels, we're going to have four fans. One, two, three, four. Then place a stitch marker between the fourth and the fifth. For the sleeves, we're going to have nine fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place a stitch marker between the eighth and the ninth fan. Now for the back side, which is going to be the front once we divide the sleeves, we're going to have nine fans as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place a stitch marker between the eighth and the ninth. Now for the second sleeve, same thing, nine fans. And for the second front panel, four fans. Now to divide the sleeves, this is what we're going to do. So this is going to be the front and this is the inside. We're going to go back to row five here of the yoke. We have the row single crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five. So this row of double crochet, so the fifth row. And we're going to be working fans into the same stitches where we did the V stitches. So these stitches here, right in between these two double crochets. This is where we're going to be working our fan. So starting into the first double crochet of row five, right here, make sure that you're on the correct side or the same side that I am. We're going to insert our hook from the bottom up like this, grab a loop. I'm going to use this pink yarn here again. I'm going to chain three and right into the next V stitch. So skip two double crochets and into the third one, which is where we have this V stitch right in the middle of this V stitch here, make a fan. Each one of the fans is going to consist of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now jump to the next V stitch and then into the same stitch here where we did the V stitch, make your next fan. Now jump to the third V stitch and make your third fan. And jump to the fourth V stitch of the fifth row and make your fourth fan. There, we have four fans and these fans were worked into the row or into the fifth row here of double crochets and into the same stitch where we did the V stitches of row six. So make sure that you have four of these fans. Now to separate the sleeves, I'm going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let me double check. Two, 
four, six, eight, 10, 11. Now we're going to skip nine fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have our stitch marker. Go into this V stitch here. So the next V stitch after the stitch marker and here make a fan. There. Now for the back side, you're going to make a total of nine fans. So you're going to make your second one here. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to separate the second sleeve. I finished making these nine fans for the back side. We have two, four, six, eight, nine. These nine fans were worked into the same stitch where we did the V stitches in row six. Now to divide the second sleeve, chain 11. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we're going to skip nine fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the next fan right below where we have the next V stitch, into the same stitch here, make your fan for the second front panel. There. Now continue and make the next three fans, we're going to make one here, here, and here. I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we have divided the sleeves. I have a total of four fans here for this second front panel. Now to finish here, we're going to go into this row of double crochet. So row five and right there, insert your hook and make a double crochet here at the end. Now to finish this row, we're going to join out so that we can continue and work this pattern in the round. So go into the first double crochet, which are the three chains on top here of the third chain, join with a slip stitch. Now, this is how I finished the first row with a total of 17 fans. We have four fans for each one of the front panels. For the front here, this is going to be the front now. I have nine fans plus 11 chains under each sleeve. So that's a total of 17 fans. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain three and right into this same stitch here, I'm going to make a double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Here I'm going to add an extra fan here on the back side. Now into each one of the chained two spaces of each one of these fans, you're going to make fans. So two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And this is what you're going to do here for each one of the fans. So I'm going to work these four fans here until I come to the chains under the first sleeve. There, I have five fans. We have the center fan for the back side plus the four, that's five. Now we have the next 11 chains. So we're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth chain here, we're going to make a fan. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Now we have three chains left. We're going to skip these chains and right into the next fan, into the chain two space. We're going to work our fan now. So here under the sleeves, we have added two extra fans. There, and that's how it looks. Now continue and work one fan for each one of these fans here for the front. And then I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to work these chains under the second sleeve. I finished making these nine fans here for the back side, two, four, six, eight, nine. Then 
Under the sleeve, I did the same thing I showed you for the first sleeve. I skipped three chains and into the fourth chain, I did a fan. Then I skipped three chains and into the fourth again, I did a fan. And here I'm going to skip these three chains and right into the chain two space of this first fan for the second front panel, I'm going to make a fan. And now I'm going to do the same thing for each one of the remaining fans for this second front panel. Now to finish, we're going to go here. We have the three chains right into the third chain here to the side. We're going to join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. At the end of the second row, you should have a total of 22 fans. Here's the first one that we did. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 fans at the end of the second row. Now from here on, we're just going to continue with these 22 fans. So for the third row, here I'm going to work a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch into the chain two space. Now chain three and into this chain two space, make a double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Here's the first fan for this third row. Now into each one of the chain two spaces, you're going to make fans in the exact same way that we did the fans here in the second row. So continue all around for this third row. I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 22 fans. Now to finish, we always go here to the beginning into the third chain here, make a slip stitch. And that's how you finish each row. Now from here on, this is the row that you're going to repeat and we're always going to have 22 fans. So to begin each row, we make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch into the chain two space. Now chain three, make a double crochet, two chains, two double crochets into this same chain two space. Then into each one of the fans, you make a fan. And this is all we're going to do for the rest here. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue. I'll meet you at the end of that row. I finished making the body. I did a total of 16 rows. From here up to here, there's 16 rows and it's measuring from the top of the shoulder to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 32 centimeters, which is about 12.5 inches. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to separate the legs. This is where I finished. So for the center, we're going to have one fan for the backside and one fan for the front. So we're going to place a stitch marker into the next fan. So we have for each one of the legs, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I have 10 fans here for this leg and then one fan here for the center for the front and then we have the next fan and into this fan I have a stitch marker. So from here up to here I have 10 fans for the second leg. So 10, 10, one for the back, one for the front. So this is where I finished the last row, row 16. So now for the legs, this is going to be, this is the back side. So this would be the right side. So for this leg here, I am going to turn here and I'm going to work this side first. So here to begin into these next two double crochets, make a slip stitch into the chain two space here of this first fan for the first leg, make a slip stitch. Now chain three. Now into this same space here of this first fan, make a double crochet, two chains, two double crochets. Here's the first fan for this first row for the first leg. Now into the next fan, make a fan, and into each one of these 10 fans, we're going to do the same thing, a fan. So continue and make these 10 fans. I will meet you right here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the first row for the first leg. I have 10 fans. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Now for row two, 
we're going to turn. Don't chain or anything, just turn. Beginning on top of this first double crochet, insert your hook and make a slip stitch, a slip stitch on top of the second double crochet, and a slip stitch into the chain two space of this fan. Now chain three and into the same space, make a double crochet, two chains, two double crochets and into each one of the remaining fans make fans until you finish this second row continue i will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i finished the second row for this first leg i have 10 fans now for the third row we're going to turn don't chain or anything just turn beginning on top of the first double crochet insert your hook and make a slip stitch into the second double crochet a slip stitch and into the chain two space a slip stitch now chain two and into this same chain space here this first fan make three half double crochets including the two chains I have four half double crochets now into each one of the fans you're going to make the same thing you're going to make four half double crochets so continue for this third row just making four half double crochet into each one of the fans until you finish i will meet you here at the end of this third row for the first leg i finished this third row in this row we did four half double crochets into each one of the fans i have a total of 40 half double crochets including the two chains here at the beginning now i cut my yarn and pass my yarn through the last loop at the end of the third row for the fourth row i'm going to change to this white yarn so i'm going to turn here i'm going to go on top of the first half double crochet grab a loop here and chain two now we have the next half double crochet into this one here work a front post half double crochet now into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet now we have the next four here is a front post so we start with a back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and so on this is how we're going to continue for this fourth row just making front post and back post half double crochets now make sure that you make these stitches nice and loose so that this part here is not too tight so continue finish the fourth row i'm here at the end of this fourth row this is where i did front post and back post half double crochets now to finish here we're going to go into the second chain and make a half double crochet and this is how i finish this fourth row with a total of 40 half double crochets now for the fifth row chain two and turn now in this row we're going to work these stitches exactly how they are we have the next stitch this is a front post so make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet and so on continue like this for this fifth row i'll meet you at the end i finished the fifth row in this row we did front post and back post half double crochets now here at the end into the second chain i did my last half double crochet at the end of this fifth row i have 40 half double crochets and here at the end i cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop so this leg here is done and this is how it looks now we're going to do exactly the same thing we did here for this side we're going to repeat these five rows exactly in the same way so I'm going to start you off here with the first row because I want to make sure that you get this side right for the first leg we started here and we did the first row on the wrong side so if I start here it's going to be on the right side so I'm going to go here to this fan here's the first one and then here's the last one so we're going to go right here this is the front side of the little romper so we're going to start right here insert your hook right here into this chain two space of this tenth fan now grab a loop here bring it through and chain three and make a double crochet two chains two double crochets so here's the first fan 
for the first row. Now into each one of the fans, you're going to work a fan until you finish this first row with 10 fans right here. Then you're going to turn, don't chain or anything, just turn, and then work the second row, exactly how I did here. I did three slip stitches, one on top of the first, the second on top of the second double crochet, and the third into the chain two space. Then I did two, then I did three chains, and then two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then continue with the second row. You can always rewind the video, so that you can see this part, but we're going to do this part exactly in the same way how I did this first leg. So continue, finish the second leg, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making the second leg. Now here at the end, I just cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. Now both legs are done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work the middle here. So we're going to start here. This is the first leg that we did. So we're going to go right here into the fifth row. This is the row from post and back post half double crochets that we did. Here we have this chain two space. So right there, insert your hook. This is the back side, by the way. So we're going to go here to the right side. Now grab a loop here, bring it through. I'm using the pink yarn here. Now chain one. Into this chain two space here, make two single crochets. One, two. Into the next row, make one. Now into the next row, which is the row where we did half double crochets, make one. So here I have one, two, three, four into the row of fans here at the end we have a double crochet make two into the next row of fans make two and now we have the last row that we did before we divided the legs so row 16. so into this row here we have these two double crochets so right there make a single crochet on top of these two and then we have the fan that we left here in the middle. So into each one of these double crochets, make a single crochet. So that's one and two. Into the chain two space, make one. And into the next two double crochets of this fan, make a single crochet. So here I have five single crochets for the center. Now we have these two double crochets, make a single crochet into these two here and then we have the rows here of the second leg we have the first row of fans make two single crochets here into the next make two and then we have the row of half double crochets make one and then the rows of front post and back post half double crochets make one there and two here at the end because that's what we did at the beginning we did two now let me count these stitches we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty five single crochets for this first row of the crutch now if you have two or three stitches less or more it's okay the important thing is that when you do this other side you have the same number of stitches so here to continue with the second row i'm going to chain one and turn now i'm going to make here a total of eight single crochets so i'm going to work my way down so make one into the first one that's two three four, five, six, seven, eight. Now into the next stitch, make two single crochets, one and two. Now for the center here, I'm going to work seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six seven into the next make two single crochets one and two now here we should be left with eight so make one single crochet into each one that's one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for this row, you should have 27 single crochets. We have eight, then two, seven for the center, two, and then eight here. So that's a total of 27 single crochets. Now for the third row, chain one, turn. Now in this third row, I'm going to make nine single crochets. One, nine into the next stitch, make a single crochet increase. So make two single crochets. Now for the stitches here in the middle, I'm going to make seven single crochets. That's one, seven into the next stitch, make a single crochet increase. And here you should be left with nine single crochets, two, four, six, eight, nine. Make one single crochet into each one of these nine stitches. Nine. There. So at the end of this third row, you should have a total of 29 stitches. Now for the fourth row, chain one and turn. Now in this fourth row, I'm going to make 10 single crochets. So beginning on top of the first one, make one, ten. Now into the next, make a single crochet increase. And then for the stitches here in the middle, make seven single crochets. So that's one. seven into the next stitch make a single crochet increase so make two single crochets and here we should be left with ten single crochets two four six eight ten make one single crochet into each one that's one ten single crochets so for this fourth row we did ten two, seven, two, ten. At the end of this fourth row, you should have 31 single crochets. Now, chain one, turn for the fifth row. In this fifth row, we're not going to increase anymore. I'm just going to work one single crochet so that at the end of this fifth row, we have 31 single crochets. Continue, finish this fifth row. I'll meet you at the end. I finished making this fifth row. At the end of this row, I had 31 stitches. Here at the end, I did my last single crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. And this is how it looks. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing here on this side, and we're going to add our buttonholes. If you're using buttons, this is where you're going to attach your buttons, and here's where we're going to make our buttonholes. So to do this here, we're going to do it exactly in the same way as I showed you this side, plus buttonholes that we're going to add in the third row. So to begin, this is the front. So we're going to go here to the right side and right here at the end of this last row here for the leg, I'm going to grab a loop here, bring it through, chain one. Now in this first row here, I'm going to make two single crochets. In the next row, I'm going to make one. In the next row, which is the row of half double crochets, make one as well. Now we have the two rows here of fans. We're going to make two single crochets here at the end and two. Now we have this center fan. With, this is the last row. So right here we have these two double crochets. So make a single crochet right on top. Then we have the fan here in the center. Here we're going to make five single crochets. So one stitch for each double crochet and one into the chain one space or chain two space there. So here we have five single crochets. Then we have this last fan, make one single crochet here on each one of the double crochets. And then again, we have the row of fans. 
make two. One in the row of half double crochets, and then one here in this row of front post stitches, and then two here at the end. This is exactly how we did the this side here. Now here you should have 25 single crochets. I have 25. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now for the second row, we're going to make eight single crochets. That's one on top of the first one. eight single crochets now into the next make two single crochets so one and two now for the center here we're going to make seven single crochets one seven single crochets into the next two single crochets and here we should be left with eight so that's one Eight. Perfect. Here's the second row. At the end of the second row, you should have 27 single crochets. Now for the third row, chain one and turn. Now in this third row, which is the middle row here, since we do five rows, we're going to add our buttonholes. And this is how we're going to add them. I'm only going to show you three buttonholes. I'm going to add one here, one in the center, and one here at this other end. So here to begin, we're going to make a single crochet on top of the first one. Now chain one, skip the next single crochet and into the third single crochet, make a single crochet. Now make sure that this space that was made with the chain one here is big enough for the buttons that you're going to use. If you need to add more chains, like maybe two chains, then that's fine. But make sure that you treat this um, as one stitch in the next row. Now I'm going to make a total of seven single crochets here. I already have one. So into the next, make a single crochet. That's two. Seven single crochets. Now we're going to make an increase into the next. So make two single crochets, one and two. Now here for the center, I'm going to make three single crochets. One, two, three chain one skip one single crochet and into the next a single crochet here's the second buttonhole now here i'm going to make a total of three that's one two three now into the next make a single crochet increase so that's two single crochets there now here we should be left with nine stitches i'm going to make seven single crochets that's one seven now chain one skip one single crochet and into the last single crochet make a single crochet so here's a third buttonhole now at the end of this third row you should have 29 stitches this is where we did three buttonholes one two three now for the fourth row chain one and turn now in this fourth row here i'm going to make 10 single crochets one Ten. Now into the next, make a single crochet increase, so make two single crochets. For the center part, we're going to make seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, here's a chain space, five, six, seven. Into the next, a single crochet increase. So make two single crochets and here we're going to make 10 single crochets. That's one. Nine, here's the chain space and 10. And here's the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you should have 31 stitches. Now for the fifth row, chain one and turn. In this fifth row, we're not going to increase anymore. Just make one single crochet for each single crochet from the previous row. 
so that at the end of this fifth row we have 31 single crochets as well. Thirty-one, and here you're just going to cut your yarn and pass your yarn through that last loop and this part here is done let's see how it looks that's how it should look one button hole here one button in the middle and one here on this other side so three buttons now what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to be using snap buttons so this is the kit that i'm going to be using there's instructions in there already um, this one here i purchased a long time ago i'll go ahead and leave a link in the information box um, of the same one if not something similar if you're interested um, i purchased this from amazon and there's tons of videos on youtube that you can watch that shows you how to attach the button so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to unravel up to the third row and i'm just going to make it exactly in the same way how i did this side without any button holes spaces so that's what i'm going to do for mine in the information box i'll go ahead and leave you a link of that kit that i purchased from amazon if you're interested um, but i also showed you how to do it with buttonholes so you can use buttons if you prefer so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you how it looks with my snap buttons and then i'll come back and show you how we're going to do the back side I finished attaching my snap buttons here for the crotch area and this is how it looks. Now we're going to close them. I added four. There, perfect. And this is how it looks. Like I said in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave a link to that kit that I used or something similar. You can always find instructions on YouTube on how to attach them. And basically all I did was just attach it here in the third row on this side and in the third row here um, at the bottom. And that's how it looks. If you prefer, you can add buttons. I showed you how to make the button holes as well. So this part here is done and that's how it looks. So now we're going to go here to the back side and we're going to start here right in the center right where we have the fan that we added in the center when we started the body. So right there, insert your hook. I'm going to use this pink yarn. And what I'm going to do here is make single crochets along this side. And here at the end, I'm going to add a buttonhole so that we can close this part like this. So here, chain one and right into this same stitch here, make a single crochet like this now there's no right or wrong way of doing this you can have less or more stitches once i get up here i'll tell you how many stitches i have so here i'm going to go through this last stitch for the fan here at the end right there insert your hook there and insert your hook through the fan row here that way this Part of the yoke is not flopping around so just make a single crochet there and another one so make two single crochets here now go at the end of the row and make one more so so far i have four into the next that's five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I have 12 single crochets. I think that looks pretty good. If you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. The important thing is that this part here is nice and straight. Now, this is where I'm going to add my buttonhole, but first, chain two. I'm going to skip the row of single crochets and into the row of chains, make a single crochet. Perfect. There's that buttonhole. So two chains. Continue watching. I will let you know what size buttons I'm going to use. So I chained two here. 
Um, you can also chain one, that would be up to you, and you can even add more buttonholes. I'm only going to add one. This opening here is not too big. So now we're going to continue along the neckline, and to do the neckline, this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain three, skip this next chain stitch, and into the next, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip this chain stitch, and into the next, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip the next chain stitch and into the next a slip stitch and this is how we're going to continue all around chain three skip one stitch and into the next a slip stitch i will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at this other end of the neckline now up to here i have my last three chains i have a total of 26 of these chain three spaces now here at the end i'm going to skip the next stitch and into this last stitch here at the very end, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now I'm going to continue along this other side of the yoke and I'm going to make single crochet. So I have one into the next row, that's two. Nine. And here I'm going to go through both of these rows. 10, 11, 11, 12. Now to finish, join to the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. Cut your yarn, pass your yarn through this last loop, and let's see how this looks. I think that looks pretty good. Now all I need to do is just add my button and here's the buttonhole. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to come back and show you the finished romper and I'll also give you the finished measurements. Okay, I added my button here in the back. Now this button that I'm using here, I'm only using one. This is a 13 millimeter size. Now if you chain one here instead of two, you can use smaller size buttons like 10, 11, or even 12 millimeter size. I'm using a 13 millimeter size because I chained two. And this is how it looks here for the back side. Here's the bottom. This little romper is all done and here's the front. Now here for the front, you can add a little bow if you like. All I did was just uh, sew this little flower here. These are pre-made. I purchased these from Joann's, but I've also seen them at Michael's. So the little romper is all done. Here's the bottom. This is how it looks. I showed you how to add buttonholes if you want to use buttonholes, but I used uh, four snap buttons and here's the bottom. So this little romper is all done. So now let me give you the finished measurements. The total length from the top here of the shoulder to the end of the last row here of the leg, it's measuring about 36 centimeters, which is about 14.25 inches. Now the leg, the length of the leg from the middle here up to here, it's measuring about 5.5 centimeters, which is about 2.25 inches. Now the width of the leg from here to here, just the top, it's measuring about 12.5 centimeters which is about five inches now this measurement right across from here to here it's measuring about 10.5 centimeters which is about 4.25 inches and the chest measurement just the top it's measuring about 24 centimeters which is about 9.5 inches so based on these measurements this little romper is for baby girls between three and six months old now you can easily make it smaller or bigger in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out and as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now, comment below and let me know if you want me to make the matching baby booties or maybe a little bonnet for this little romper. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.